What is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in this video we are going to build a complete and fully functionable shorts video application with firebase as a backend service from start to end in this application we will have login screen where we can log in with email and password we will use firebase authentication for login as well as for creating the account we will show all the videos uploaded by the user in the view pager when the application launches we can upload the video from add videos and also we can add beautiful caption to the videos we can go to our profile and add the nice profile picture or dp we can go to the profile of any other user we can follow or unfollow that user and also see the followers and following count of that user we can see all the videos uploaded by the user we can click any of the video and the videos will be played we can also log out from the application so to build this application we'll use some firebase services like firebase authentication for login and sign up firebase firestore for storing the user data as well as video data firebase storage for storing the video files as well as image files so without any delay let's get started by creating a complete new project from scratch Before starting a project I will show you what version I am using this is Android Studio Giraffe that is from 2022-31 patch 1 so if you are using different Android Studio version some features might be different but it will not be any problem so let's start with new project so click on new project here in the new Android Studio if you select empty activity it will create the project with jetpack compose so we don't want that we want to start with xml views so we will select empty views activity click on next here let's give the application name my application name will be mini clip you can give your own application name in the package name you can give your domain name and the application name this is the good practice we should give the domain name at first and then we will give the application name so that it will be unique every time you can save your project on any location we will select language at kotlin because this project we are doing with kotlin so for minimum sdk you can select any of the sdks if you select latest the features will be latest but this will only support some of the devices we will select android 8.0 oreo so that it will support most of the devices in build configuration language let it be kotlin dsl that is the recommended one and the latest one you can click over here and select recommended click on finish so our project is created you can see over here we have main activity.kt kt is the extension of kotlin and we have activity main.xml because we have selected views so if you go to activity main.xml and click on split over here so that we can see code and view at the same time so here you can see we have hello world so let's not change anything just run the application so to run the application either you need one emulator or a physical device so if you want to create the emulator if you don't have any emulator you can go to device manager and here you can see create device let's click on create device you can select any phone from here click on next here you can select the api level click on next here you can give the emulator name anything you can change some configuration or let it be and click on finish so that it will create one emulator i have already created one that's why it is here emulator 1 pixel 6 pro if you want to connect physical device you can do with wifi or you can connect the usb let's run the application in this emulator click on run app so you can see log over here is starting intent and it is started the mini clip that is main activity so if you go to the emulator you can see over here i have this hello world and our application is started let's go to main activity and in xml let's change this hello world to main activity if we click on this apply changes it will immediately apply changes and restart the activity click on it you can see over here it is immediately reflected that is main activity so let's go back to the project and do some initial setup so first thing we will go to manifest in android manifest.xml we'll add some permission the permission we require is first permission is usage permission internet so let's add internet permission and second permission we will be requiring is read external storage because we want to upload images and videos from the external storage that's why we need this permission we are done with the permission you can close android manifest let's go to resource values colors you can see over here we have two colors black and white let's add one more color for my primary so that we can create a color primary color i will give it as a red color so this is the red color you can select any color from here so let's go to themes we have two themes one is day and one is night go to themes.xml and add the color primary so you can delete this comment and item color primary 
it will be my primary same way we can do on night also go to themes.xml night and paste it here so we are done with the themes as of now you can close themes and colors if we restart the application you can see over here our status bar color has changed because we have changed the primary color go back to the project so this was just an introduction video and the project setup so we have done the project setup in next video we will create login activity and sign up activity so that we can create account in our application if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio in last video we have created the project and we have set it up the project in this video we are going to create sign up activity so that we can create account in our application so let's design the sign up activity let's close everything go to our package new activity select empty views activity and create activity name that will be our sign up activity it will generate layout file that is activity sign up and you can click on finish so we have our sign up activity let's go to activity sign up dot xml split so that we can see view and code at the same time so first thing we will do is convert this constant layout to linear layout orientation we will set it to vertical so that we can arrange items in vertical gravity will be center horizontal and also margin will be about 16 dp from all sides now let's add logo over here i have already created a logo i will show it to you so this will be my application logo you can create your own logo let's copy this and paste it in drawable folder so go to drawable and paste it you can change the name i will make it logo and here i will import it as image view so image view width will be about 120 dp height 120 dp and source will be our logo so it is visible over here let's give some margin top about 80 dp so it will be over here now below this we will add the application name over here so it will look good so text view match parent wrap content text will be our app name that is mini clip gravity will be center let's give text size about uh, 22 sp and also text style bold and give letter spacing about 0 0.07 so it will look like this so we have added image view and text view let's minimize this and below this we will add a linear layout so that we can have everything over here like sign up email address password create password those things we will add inside linear layout so let's make a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content gravity will be center and orientation will be vertical so inside this linear layout we will add those items first item will be text view to show which page it is so text view match parent wrap content text will be sign up gravity will be center text style will be bold text size will be 32 sp margin about 12 dp so we will get to know this is the sign up screen so below this we will add i will minimize this text view below this we will add edit text so that we can get the email width will be match parent height will be wrap content hint will be email so that we can get email from the user you have to give input type as email text email address padding about 12 dp and margin about 12 dp so this will look like this it is looking like this but i want it as a rounded corner so i will create one drawable let's go to drawable new drawable resource file let it be a rounded corner and root element will be shape click on ok here for this shape we will give the shape as rectangle so this is the rectangle and we will give corners radius as 16 dp and stroke width will be 1 dip and color will be black so this is the rounded corner rectangle so close this and make the background of this edit text as rounded corner so it will look like this and it is looking good so our email field is done we have to add id for this let's say email input below this we want password field and also the confirm password field so let's copy this edit text paste it below here we have to change it as a password input hint will be password and input type will be text password so we can hide the password let's copy this again i need another 
that will be our confirm password input hint will be confirm password and input type will be text password so we will be using only these fields let's add one button to sign up so below this we can minimize this edit text below this edit text we'll add a button match parent wrap content text will be sign up margin will be about 12 dp and padding about 12 dp so we can see over here we have the button so let's give the id to this button as submit button let's say submit button and below this button we'll create a progress bar so progress bar will be width will be match parent height we will give fixed height so that we can replace this with the progress bar we'll give the same height to button as well let's say 60 dp for this progress bar also we'll give 60 dp so that when we replace this with the progress bar it will not flick margin 12 dp padding 12 dp we have to give same as button so that it will not flick and we can give id to this progress bar so this progress bar will be visible when we are doing the sign up when we click on sign up it will be visible but sign up button will be disabled so in progress bar we'll make it by default visibility as gone so that it won't be visible at start so we'll minimize this button we we'll minimize this progress bar and one last thing we'll add is text view so text view width will be wrap content height will be wrap content text will be already have an account so if user have already an account they can click over here and go to login page so for that we are writing this id will be go to login button so you can give any id i have given go to login button so in this way our sign up screen is almost ready i have this image view and text view over here in this linear layout i have added this text view three edit text one button one progress bar and the one text button that is text view so let's run the application and see how it is looking in our application if you run this so you can see we are in main activity since we have created the sign up activity but we are not navigating to sign up activity from anywhere so for now what we will do we will go to manifest and here we will change the default launcher to our sign up activity so how we will do that we can change this launcher activity this is the launcher activity change the name it to sign up activity and this sign up activity will be main activity so that this intent filter is there inside sign up activity it will start sign up activity let's run it again now it is the sign up activity we can input the email address you can see over here at the rate option is there because we have added input type at email address so it will be test at gmail.com in password if you type anything it will be hidden because it is a password it will be also hidden we have only designed the ui that's why button will not work so that's all for this video in next video we implement the sign up feature using the firebase first we will connect firebase to our application and then we will create account using the firebase if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully designed the sign up screen and also we have run the application so that we can see the sign up screen in our application we have added edit text to input the email address password confirm password and also the sign up button over here in this video we are going to connect firebase to our android studio project so that we can sign up and log in to our application To automatically connect from the Android Studio, we have the option over here. If you go to Tools in Android Studio, you can see Firebase over here. You can click on that Firebase button. It will open the Assistant over here. And you can select the Firebase. We will be using Authentication at first. So let's click on Authentication. And here you can see we have lots of Authentication. We are not doing anything. Let's just click any one of them. Let's say Custom Authentication System and let's connect to firebase click on connect to firebase it will launch our application in the browser so we have to log in with our gmail account let's add project so it will automatically detect the project name that is our mini clip click on continue we can change the name also and here you can enable google analytics i will disable it for now click on create project so our project is ready click on continue now click on connect click on send so you can see it is connected to our firebase android app get back to the project you can see over here it is connected now 
now we have to add firebase authentication sdk click on this click on accept changes it will add the authentication can close this assistant now let's go to firebase console select the project that is mini clip here we have to enable the authentication so go to build authentication click on get started and in the sign in method we will click on add new provider and we will use email and password you can use phone also google facebook but for this project simplicity we are using email and password click on this enable this so here you can see passwordless sign in that we are not enabling as of now click on save so in this way for our sign in method email and password is now enabled let's get back to the project so if we go to gradle script and check build at gradle here it is added google services and some dependency that is firebase authentication and if you go to project level build.gradle also google services are added now we can use firebase in our application so this video was just for connecting firebase to our application in next video we will create account using email and password if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you on the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully connected our application to the firebase in this video we are going to create account using email and password so let's go to sign up activity and bind all the views so previously we used to do find view by id but for this project we will be using view binding so to enable view binding let's go to build at gradle here inside this android scope we can add build features and inside the build features view binding will be true so that it will create the binding for our views automatically click on sync now now you can close this so in sign up activity let's initialize binding so we'll create a binding it will be activity sign up binding it is automatically created and in on create binding equals to activity sign up binding dot inflate layout inflator and in set content view we'll use binding dot root so in this way we have enabled the binding so first thing we will do is on click of the submit button so binding dot submit button dot set on click listener whenever the user click on this sign up button that is our submit button we'll do something what we'll do we'll sign up so we'll create a method sign up here we'll create a function here we will do the validation and do the sign up so whenever we click on submit button it will come to this function and here first we will get the email password and confirm password so for that let's create some variable email email input binding dot email input dot text dot to string so we'll get the email from email input in the same way we will do for password binding dot password input and for confirm password binding dot confirm password input so first we will validate the email either it is correct email or not so for that we'll use the pattern if patterns dot email address dot matcher email dot matches if pattern matches means if it is a correct email id so we will do opposite if it is not correct email id we will show the error so binding dot email input dot set error email not valid and we will directly return from here so if email is invalid we don't go ahead now we will check for password length so password dot length is less than 6 if the password length is less than 6 then also we'll show the error binding dot password input dot set error minimum six character you can change your input text according to you and return from here also if password is not equal to confirm password if password and confirm password are not same then also we'll show the error binding dot confirm password input dot set error password not matched and we'll return from here so in this way we will do validation for all three things if all the validation are passed it will come to this line that means we will sign up so what we will do we will sign up with firebase we'll create a method here so after everything is validated we'll go to sign up with firebase let's create a function sign up with firebase here we will use the firebase sign up so here first thing we will do is whenever we click on sign up progress bar should be visible and whenever sign up happened it should be invisible so let's create a method for that 
I will create above the sign up function set in progress. So here I will take boolean in progress as boolean. So if in progress is true, true that means it is in progress. Binding dot progress bar visibility will be visible. So view dot visible. So progress bar will be visible and the button will be invisible. So binding dot submit button dot visibility will be gone. So it will be gone, not invisible. It will be gone. Else means it is not in progress then we will do just opposite progress bar will be gone submit button will be visible so whenever we are in progress progress bar will be visible whenever we are not in progress button will be visible so whenever we are signing up with a firebase first thing we will do is set in progress that will be true means we are in the progress now we will create account using firebase so how to do that firebase auth dot get instance dot create user with email and password we have this method create user with email and password click it and here we will pass email and password we will take it in sign up firebase so how we will take that email string password string so we will get it from this method here we will pass email and password so from this edit text we got the email that we are passing to this function sign up with firebase so from here we will pass it to firebase auth so email will be email password will be password so in this way it will automatically create the account if you add on success listener we can see if it is success or not we can show a toast for now application context success length will be sort dot show so we'll just testing it by creating an account with email and password let's run and test so here we are in sign up activity let's just click directly our validation is working or not so you can see over here we have this email not valid because we have not added email so test at gmail.com let's say if we click on sign up it will say password minimum character is six let's give six character that is one two three four five six and let's give random confirm password so it will say password not matched so we'll give the correct password here one two three four five six now if we click on sign up it should sign up so progress bar is visible and we have this success message we have not disabled the progress bar that we will do but we have the success message if you go over here in the authentication go to users so we have successfully created one user that is test at gmail.com and it has assigned the user id also we have the date we have the identifier so in this way our create account is working but we don't want only to be created here we want the user information in the database also not only in authentication we want to store in database also so for that we will enable first firestore database go to build firestore database create database start in test mode next you can select any location click on enable so this will create cloud firestore database since we want to some user information here we don't only want in authentication we want to store the user information in authentication as well as in firestore database so what i will do i will just delete this user as of now we were only testing so let's delete this account now let's get back to the project here what we will do go to assistant and we have to add the sdk for cloud firestore let's go to cloud firestore and add the cloud firestore sdk to your application accept changes so now we can use the cloud firestore so what we will do over here whenever we are success we'll create a user which will have email address user id and other things so how we will do that let's create a model for that let's go to our package new let's create a new package that will be model where we will be adding all the models now go to model package new kotlin class and let's select data class this will be the data model that's why data class give the name user model enter so we have this data class and inside this parenthesis we have to add the items so what will be the items you can only decide let's be user id that will be string by default it will be empty string email also in the same way we will have username also in the same way we will have profile picture that we will implement later but for now profile picture url will be string and also we will have follower list and following list so we will add follower and following later on so it will be mutable list of string so that we can increase and decrease the followers we will provide by default mutable list of empty list same way following list user will have mutable list of string which will be empty mutable list at first so our data class is ready 
you can add more information but for as of now we want only this let's go to sign up activity so whenever we have successfully created the account in ads on success listener what we will do we will get the auth result here you can see auth result we have so from this auth result we will get the user so we have the user in auth result if user is there that means it will be nullable if user is there inside let method what we will do we will give the name user and if user is there that means account is created in this authentication successfully user is created on this authentication now with that user we will take the id of that user and email of that user so for that we will make a user model this is the data class that we have will be user model and inside this we will add some items what will be the items the id email username profile picture follower list and following list so let's add id so id we will take from user dot id there we can see over here we have the user uid that we will take so user dot uid second is the email third thing we are storing username so what we will do for the username if user has added the test at the gmail dot com we will extract this test from here and it will be the username whatever the value is before this at the rate that will be the username so for that i will write email dot substring before at the rate so whatever it is before at the rate it will be the username so these three things we require as of now and profile picture will be empty follower and following list will be empty string so that's okay we have created the user model this we have to save in this cloud fire store so how to do that we will use firebase fire store firebase dot fire store dot import firebase fire store dot collection we will create a collection of users in the users collection we will add document document id will be user dot uid and we will set the data what will be the data that will be newly created user model so here user model and we will add on success listener to this also so that we will get to know when user is created so here we will show the toast so instead of writing toast every time what i will do i will create a util package and inside this util package i will create a class that will be ui util so it will be object type we'll create one function that is show toast we'll take context and we'll take a message and here we will show toast dot make text context message will be message length will be long and we'll show the toast so we'll call this show toast from anywhere we want to show the toast in sign up activity ui util dot show toast context will be application context message will be account created successfully so in this way the account will be created and after this we will set in progress to false so that this progress bar will be invisible after creating the account and once we created the account successfully we'll go to main activity start activity intent application context and main activity class dot java so whenever we are success we'll go to main activity and we'll finish this activity so the sign up activity will be finished now one more thing we have if we have success this will show this message but if the failure happens if any exception happens we have to add on failure listener also so on failure listener so whenever we are failed it will give the exception we will just show ui util dot show toast message will be from this exception that is it dot localized message if there is no localized message we will show something went wrong and we will set in progress to false so if it is failed we are not moving to main activity let's run and test everything is working or not let's give the email address at captain at gmail dot com password will be one two three four five six confirm password also same and let's click on sign up either account is created or not so you can see over here account created successfully we are in the main activity let's go to the firebase and see if everything is working or not let's reload this user we have the user captain at gmail dot com we have uid also let's go to the firestore database and you can see over here we have users collection inside that collection we have the user id that is from authentication and we have email follower list empty following list is empty we have id we have profile picture and the username that is extracted from email itself 
In this way our sign up feature is working absolutely fine. In next video we will design the login activity and also we will implement the login feature so that we can login with the credential of already created account. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye. What is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts video application development in android studio. In last video we have successfully implemented the sign up feature we are successfully created the account in the firebase we have this user collection where we have one created account and also in authentication we have the user. In this video we are going to design the login screen as well as integrate the login features in our application. So let's get started. Let's close everything. Let's go to our package and create a new activity empty views activity that will be our login activity click on finish now we have activity login let's go to activity login dot xml click on split let's open sign up activity xml most of the things will be similar let's copy everything from here and paste it over here so most of the things will be similar first thing we'll change this tool context add login activity image view will be similar text view will be similar in this linear layout in instead of this text we will set it to login this text is done in edit text we will have email so it is ok password also we will have we don't require this confirm password let's delete we require this button but button text will be login id will be submit button it is ok progress bar will be there and in this text view instead of already have an account we will make it don't have an account and we will set it go to sign up button now our login screen is ready let's run the application so as you can see we are in sign up activity because we have set the launcher activity if you click on already have an account we have not implemented let's implement that first go to sign up activity and here on create method we will set binding dot go to login button dot set on click listener here what we will do we will just start activity intent this login activity class dot java so this will start login activity and we will finish this so whenever we will go to login it will go to login and it will finish this activity if you restart now click on already have an account we are in login screen and what we can do is we can set this login as a launcher activity we don't want sign up as a launcher activity so go to manifest instead of sign up activity it will be login activity and in this activity it will be sign up activity now it will launch in login activity every time now let's implement the code so let's close everything from here we need login activity so in the same way we will start binding so let in it where binding activity login binding binding equals to activity login binding dot inflate layout inflator and set content view will be binding dot root now we will set the on click listener as we have set it on here let's copy this from here submit button instead of sign up we will set it login and instead of this go login button it will be go to sign up button and start activity will be sign up activity let's create a function login so here we will do the validation as we were doing here let's copy this we need set in progress also copy this above this we'll paste it in login function we'll copy the same here we'll check for email and the password let's remove this confirm password let's remove this validation also and we'll create a method login with firebase same way we will pass email and password and create here function login with firebase take email and password so let's go to sign up activity and see what we were doing we'll write by ourselves first we'll do is set in progress will be true so that we can set in progress now we will use firebase auth to login so we'll go to firebase auth get instance dot sign in with email and password you can see method over here sign in with email and password we'll pass email and we'll pass password so it will give us success listener so add on success listener here we'll show the toast uiutil dot show toast this comma login successfully set in progress will be false 
same way we will go to main activity we will copy from here we will go to main activity from login screen as well and we will add on failure listener in failure listener we will show the toast as same either the message or something went wrong and we will set in progress to false let's run and test either it is working or not so let's test the validation first email we have to provide let it be test at gmail.com this is the random email i have not created account with this and random password click on login so it will show login credential invalid so here what we will do we'll give the correct email but random password let's see what it comes also it will say login credential invalid so what we will do we'll write correct password that is one two three four five six now if i click on login it should get logged in login successfully we are in the main activity so our login things is also working so if you click on back application is closed because we have set the finish now if you open the application again it is taking to login screen so it should not happen it should directly take into main activity because we are already logged in we have not logged out from the application we are logged into the application so it should take us to main activity directly so how we will implement that let's go to login activity whenever this activity is launched we'll first check either user has logged in or not in on create method we will do that how we'll do firebase auth dot get instance dot current user that means the logged in user if it is there if it is there we are using null safe if it is null it will not be there if it is there that means user is there logged in so here what we will do we will directly start the main activity so i will copy from here and paste it so it will immediately start the main activity and it will finish the login activity now if you run it we are in the main activity again if you back we are in the main activity let's clear the app storage go to storage and cache clear storage and you have to relaunch the application now we are in login screen since we have cleared the storage again we can log in we are logged in if you click on back and go we will always be in main activity since we are logged in so our login feature and sign up feature is working perfectly fine in next video we'll start designing the main activity if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully designed our login screen and also implemented login feature so that we can do login so i have already created an account i will login from my application if i click on login we are successfully in the main activity if we go back and again relaunch the app we are in main activity so till now we have done this in this video we will design our main activity so that we can have some icons and button navigation bar and the view pager so let's get started let's go back to the project close everything go to main activity and we will go to activity main.xml for the design click on split here let's make this relative layout let's remove this main activity text view now we will add bottom navigation view over here so for that let's add bottom navigation view from the android material width will be match parent height will be wrap content and align parent bottom will be true so that it will come at bottom so we have to add some items over here for that we have to add a menu so go to resource new android resource directory and select here menu so it should be menu okay you have the menu go to menu new menu resource file this we will call as bottom nav menu here we will add the items so what will be the items let's add first item that will be home id will be bottom menu home we will add three items so second item will be add video bottom menu add video third item will be bottom menu profile so title will be profile so in this way it will come let's go to activity main.xml and assign menu over here that will be bottom nav menu so you can see over here we have home add video and profile let's add icons also so that it will look good so to generate the icon i will go to drawable new vector asset 
click on clip art here we can see home icon you can select any of this but I will select this and make this color as a white color and give the name icon home click on next finish let's add another icon here we can see home icon uh, add I'll use this icon color white give the icon name icon add go to drawable new icon here we will use person so you can use any of these I will use this one icon profile next finish so now in bottom navigation menu we can give the icon to each items so for home we will give icon as home add video add and for profile profile so if you go to activity main now you can see all those icon over here now if we run the app let's see how it looks we are in the main activity and we have these items we can select any of the items it will be highlighted and it is looking good now let's go to main activity and write the code so here also we'll use binding so let in it where binding activity main binding activity main binding dot bind inflate layout inflator and here binding dot root now we'll start using bottom navigation view so how we will use that so we'll set on click listener to it so binding dot bottom we have not given the id let's go to bottom navigation bar and give the id for it bottom nav bar so here we can use bottom nav bar dot dot set on item selected listener so here we will get the menu item let's name it as menu item now from here we have to return something like boolean either a true or false so first what we will do we will check when menu item dot item id is inside the switch case we will write r dot id dot bottom menu home so if it is home then we will do something if it is add video we will do something if it is profile we will do something so here we have added three items and by default we have to return something that is false now for now if it is home what we will do we will just show a toast for now so here we will use uiutil dot show toast this home copy this here add video profile so whenever user click on any of the item from here later we will go to go to upload video upload activity from here we will go to profile activity that we are going to create later so let's run it now if I click on home it is home add video add video profile it will go to profile so in this video we have implemented bottom navigation view also we have added a menu items that is home add video and profile and on and we have set on item click listener to all the menu items so in next video we are going to create a video upload activity so that user can upload the shorts video you can check episode wise code in the github i will provide link in the description you can go over the link and you can click on the branch whatever you want to like here we have episode 1 we will have episode 2 episode 3 episode 4 episode 5 and so on if you are watching the video of episode 6 you can go here and switch the branch to episode 6 so we'll upload all the code over here if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully designed main activity where we have bottom navigation bar with three items so that whenever we click on any items it will function now in this video we will create video upload activity so that when user click on add video it will go to video upload activity and upload the video so let's start designing video upload activity close everything go to your package new activity empty views activity video upload activity so click on generate a layout file it will generate and click on finish so we have our video upload activity and the layout let's go to main activity and set on click listener of that items we are showing the toast as of now let's delete this and just go to and from here we will just navigate to video upload activity so start activity intent this to video upload activity class dot java so from here we will directly navigate to video upload activity let's run it and test either we are going to video upload activity or not 
if you click on add video i am in video upload activity we have not added any items here now let's design video upload activity you can close main activity and go to design click on split now we will design over here first thing i will make it a relative layout and in the middle of this i will add icon and a text view so that i can say click here to upload the video so let's make a another relative layout width will be match parent height will be match parent and let's give id to this will be upload view and inside this relative layout i will add some items so first item will be image view width will be 100 dp 100 dp source will be same icon add center in parent will be true it is in white color we will make it tint color dot black it is saying to use app tint so we can click on fix now it is there now let's add a text view below this match parent wrap content gravity will be center and text will be click to upload video and it should be below this icon so i will give id to this add icon below add icon so you can see over here we have this text and the icon so whenever user come to this activity it will show this to the user so when user click on this they will select the video from the storage and we should show one post view po what will be the post view there should be one video icon there should be one text there should be post button there should be cancel button so that will be the post view this is the upload view so let's minimize this upload view we can say tools visibility as gone so that it won't be visible for now so it is gone we can minimize this and here we will add another relative layout that will be id post view here we will add the items so first item will be edit text width will be match parent height will be let's give the fix height 160 dp here it will show let's give the margin 10 dp gravity as top hint will be write your caption here and padding will be 10 dp so it will show over here we will add one image icon over here to show the video thumbnail so after this edit text we will add one image view width will be something about 90 dp height will be 160 dp so that expect ratio will be 9 is to 16 you can see over here align parent end will be true margin will be 10 dp and it is not visible now we can set tools background so that for this layout we can see uh, black color let's say so here you can see but this edit text is going behind so we can do one thing we can give id to this image view that is post thumbnail view and it should be to start of post thumbnail view so that it will come over here here is the edit text give id to this edit text as well it will be post caption input so for this relative layout also we will give some padding about 20 dp so that it will look like this so we have the caption view and we have the thumbnail view let's add cancel and post button over here so for that i will use linear layout to put in horizontal i will minimize edit text minimize the image view below this image view i will make a linear layout match parent wrap content align parent bottom will be true gravity will be center and orientation will be horizontal so it will come over here now here we will add some buttons so first button match parent wrap content text will be cancel style for cancel will be at the rate style slash text button if you search for text button we have this material components text button you can click over here so that it will come like this we don't want that red background and let's give layout weight at one so that the width of cancel and the post will be same and id will be cancel post button now let's copy this paste it below it will be the button post and we want to remove this style because we don't want for post we want post as a good background so it will be submit post button so now it is looking good we have cancel and post button now let's add a progress bar also so that we can show in progress so here we will add a progress bar match parent height will be 24 dp id will be progress bar and layout weight is also one now it is showing like this so in runtime it will only show either button either a progress bar so that's okay so let's run it and test it how it is looking in the application if you add video you can see over here we have this upload view as well as the post view but when user comes to this activity only upload view should be visible 
so once user select the video then post view should be visible so what we will do we'll minimize everything for now and in this upload view tools visibility gone that's okay in relative view android visibility will be gone it will not be visible at first so here we can remove this tools visibility so that it will be like this here you can add tools visibility visible so that in the layout we can see but in the app it won't see and also this progress bar visibility will be gone so if you run it in the layout you can see all the items but in this application we can only see this so only when user selects the video then the post view will be visible so in this video we have successfully designed our upload video activity where we have this upload view as well as the post view in next video we will implement this when user clicks on plus icon it will go to external storage and select the video and when we click on post button it will post the video to the firebase storage so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully designed our video upload activity where we have this upload view as well as the post view we'll show the video upload view at first to the user and when user click on plus it will show the post view so let's implement how to select the video from external storage and also get the path of that video so that we can upload that video to our firebase storage so let's get started let's go to video upload activity now first let's go to manifest and check the permissions if you go to manifest we have this internet permission we have this read external storage permission you can see over here read external storage is deprecated and when targeting android 13 plus you need to add either images either video permission so for android devices that has 13 plus it needs read read media video permission so let's add that so here what we will do read media video permission so for android 13 plus we'll use this before 13 we'll use this let's go to video upload activity so how we'll implement that when we click on this it will first check for the permission when we don't have the permission we will show the permission dialog so that user will allow the permission if we have the permission we'll directly go to the folder and select the video so to go to the folder we have to fire the intent so for that intent we will get some result so that result will contain the video id so let's implement that first get the binding let in it where binding activity video upload binding binding equals to activity video upload binding dot inflate layout inflator binding dot root so we have got the binding let's create another variable that will be a selected video uri so it will get the path it will of type uri let's make it nullable and provide null at first when we select the video we will get the result from the android so we will get the video path so for that we have activity launcher let's create variable for that let in it where uh, let's say video launcher you can see over here activity result launcher click on that and it will be of type intent because from intent we are getting the result declare the variable here we will come and first we will assign the video launcher register for activity result here we will pass activity result contracts it needs activity result contracts dot start activity for result and from here we will get the result so it will be let's say result so with this result if video is selected we will get the uri so let's first check if result dot result code that means it is selected or not so if it is result okay that means video has been selected so selected video URI will be from the result itself. Rose result dot data dot data. So from this result, we'll get the data that is the selected video data and we'll set the URI of that selected video to our selected video URI. It is null at first, it will get the video URI. So we have to launch this video launcher as well. So from where we will do that? When we click on this button. So this button is binding dot upload view dot set on click listener so when user click on upload view here we will check the permission and we'll launch this video launcher so for that i will create a method check permission and open video picker let's say so this method i will create over here after this on create method check permission and open video picker we can make it private so here first we'll check the permission so for that i will uh, create a variable a string read external 
read external video that will be string i will assign this empty string for now since for android 13 we have different and for older version we have different so what we will do if build dot version dot sdk int is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot this this version is the android 13 version so if it is equal or greater than android 13 version we will use this as a so read external video permission will be android dot manifest dot permission dot read media video so it will take the read media video permission if it is greater than 13 else we'll copy this paste it it will be external storage permission read external storage so in this way we have added this permission to our read external video so whatever the android version is it will take according to that after that we will check if there is a permission or not so context compact dot check self permission context will be this and permission is read external video if it is equal to equal to package manager dot permission is granted if the permission of read external video is granted that means we have permission so we can go to video picker so let's create a method video picker if we have permission else we don't have permission activity compact dot request permission so request permissions in this we have to pass activity and array of request we have only single request as of now read external video and let's say request code will be 100 so in this way we will send the request if it is not there if we have the permission it will directly open video picker let's create a method that will be private fun video picker so if we don't have permission it will ask for permission if we have permission it will open video picker so what we will do here for now we will just show toast video picker let's check this flow run it now let's click on add video let's click on this button so that it will ask permission because it is the first time we have not granted if we click on this it will ask the permission allow our application to access photos and videos on this device if you click on allow it is allowed if now we will click on click and upload video it will show video picker now if you close app and again come back also you can click over here it will show the video picker because permission is already granted we have the permission that's why it is showing video picker now it is going to if condition and it is opening video picker now we have the permission we can get the video from the user so what we will do here is we will pass the intent like we start the activity in the same way we have to get the intent to start the launcher for video picker so intent dot action we have action pick what will pick media store dot video dot media dot external content uri so intent dot type will be video slash star it will get all the videos and we have this video launcher here we have this video launcher we will launch that video launcher dot launch intent so in this way it will launch the video launcher and when we get the video when we select the video we'll get the value in selected video uri so how we will test that let's show a toast over here got video and what is the video selected video uri dot to string let's just print the path of the video if we run it first let's add videos to our emulator if you have device you can add videos to your device you can also record the video but here we don't have video let's add from any folder i have downloaded some sorts video so i'll copy everything let's go to the home page of this so i'll copy everything and just drag and drop in the emulator if we want to copy it will directly copy to the downloads folder so if you copy it it is copying now if you go to files you can see all the videos are there so you can either play one by one so that it immediately we will get the list so these all are the videos so i have added eight videos in the downloads folder now let's run the application and see add video if i click on this now it should show all the videos so you can see over here we have the select a video and we have eight videos if i go back there is nothing if i click on this go to download i have all the videos i can select any of the videos so if i select videos it should show the toast so let's say i have selected this so we have got the content uri so got video and we have the path if you select any other video it will get the path that means in this application in our application we are getting the path of the video so we are getting the selected video uri 
that means we are successfully able to add the permission and we are successfully able to pick the video from the external storage so that's all for this video so in next video what we will do when we have selected the video this visibility will be gone and we will show the post view so in that post view we can write the caption we can post the video so that we will implement in next video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully added the permission for selecting video from external storage and also when click of this button we can select the video and we have got the path of the video in our application so in this video when we selected the video this view will be gone and then we will show the post view so that we can post it to the firebase storage so let's get started So here we are showing the toast when we have got the video we don't require this let's delete it now here what we will do we'll create a method to hide this upload view and we will show the post view so for that we will show post view we'll call this method we'll create method for so post view and in this method we will write binding dot post view dot visibility will be dot visible and binding dot upload view dot visibility will be gone so in this way we can show the post view when video is selected that means here we can show the post view now let's run it and test click on upload video select any of the video so here we can see our post view here we can write the caption here is the image view but it is not visible because there is nothing in that and we have cancel and post button which will not work we have not added any listener to them so let's get back so first thing what we will do when we have got the video let's make a video model like we have made the user model we'll make a video model so let's create a kotlin class video model it will be the data class like we have in user model id email username profile picture in video model we will have some items that will be let's say video id title this will be the caption of the video let's add url so the url of the video because we are storing it in firebase storage uploader id also we require so that we'll get to know who has uploaded this video and one last item will be created time so this will show the time when it was uploaded so here the type will be timestamp so there are lots of timestamp but we have to select this com.google.firebase1 you have to select this one this is important so let's select this firebase1 timestamp and let's give timestamp dot now so it will get the current time when video will be uploaded so we have created the video model let's go to the video upload activity and whenever we click on post button we will add on click listener so in on create method what we will do binding dot submit post button dot set on click listener will create a method post video so let's minimize these methods here we will create post video in this thing first we will do we will show the progress bar so for that i will need progress bar also so for that i will create method set in progress in progress boolean and here we will do the same thing that we are doing in login activity so we can copy from here and paste it over here so binding dot submit post button will be gone submit post button will be visible so in this way we will set the in progress so in post video first thing what we will do we will check the caption first we'll check the caption either caption is there or not so for that if binding dot post caption input dot text dot to string dot is empty if it is empty what we will do we'll show the error binding dot post caption input dot set error error will be write something and we'll return from here so if caption is not there we'll return if caption is there then set in progress will be true so we'll start uploading so if there is value in selected video uri that means we have the path of the video in this uri first we need to store it to store in firebase cloud storage and we'll get the url from there that we will store video model store in firebase firestore so first video will be stored in firebase cloud storage and then we'll get the url of this video and with the video model we will store it in the database so let's get back to the firebase console and here we have to enable storage that is firebase storage we can click on this get started test mode done here we have created the storage we have one bucket here we can add the files 
so video file we will add over here and then we'll add the data to fire store database so let's get back to the project and go to assistant here tools firebase and we need to add dependency for cloud storage so let's click on this add the cloud storage sdk to your app accept changes so dependencies are added we can use firebase storage now first what we will do firebase storage dot get instance dot reference reference will create a child where we have the like collection like path so we will make videos collection means we will make a folder of videos over here we'll give slash and inside that we will create a reference for the video so we will create a reference and inside that videos we will add a file so here for the file name what we will do we can use this from the selected video uri dot last path segment we can use this because it is a string that will be unique so we will get the last path segment so we can store this in a variable so it will be value uh, let's say video reference now with this video reference we'll put file so we have method put file uri will be whatever the selected video uri dot add on success listener so in add on success listener when video upload task is done what we will do video reference dot download url dot add on success listener again we have to add listener so that we will get the download url of that video here we have got the download url that is the uri so you can say here download url you can name it and what we will do here we have to post it to the firebase fire store so for that i will create a different method post to fire store from here i will just pass post to fire store and download url dot to string so the url will pass and here we will create url string now it will add to the firebase storage and then give the url to post it to fire store now in here what we will do we will do the same thing what we were doing for user let's go and check what we are doing for user so here first we are creating the user model and then we were adding in the collection of users first we have to make the video model and then we have to add to the collection of videos so let's go back here let's create video model and it requires some values so what are the values you can check video id so what will be the video id for video id we have to make it unique so that what we will do we'll take the user id and we'll add underscore and the timestamp so that it will be unique every time so let's take the user id from firebase earth dot get instance current user from current user we'll get the user id that is uid and here it will not be null because we are logged in and we'll concat it with timestamp dot now dot to string so it will get the user id underscore timestamp so it will be unique every time now second field is title video title will get from this binding dot caption input dot text dot to string so we have got the title third thing is url we have the url directly now uploader id and create timestamp uploader id will be from here same uid and created timestamp will be timestamp dot now here it is giving error okay here it should be equals to instead of this colon so it will get this values so it will create a video model where video id will be this title url user id and then timestamp so we have got the video model now we have to put it in the firebase fire store so how we will do that firebase dot fire store dot collection collection let's say now videos dot document so document id will be video model dot video id that will be unique dot set document will be video model dot add on success listener so let's add failure listener also so here it will be success that means set in progress will be false and we will show a toast that video uploaded and once video is uploaded we can finish this activity so finish we will finish the activity in add failure listener set in progress will be false and we will show a message that will be video failed to upload due to some reason video might fail to upload again user will retry to upload so in this way we will get the file from the external storage we will put the file in the firebase storage and once we get the url of the video we will post it to fire store database so in this way video will be uploaded let's try and upload one video let's see how it goes run it click on add video here i will select this one so if i directly click on post it should show the error here it has done write something so let's say my first mini clip video hope you have 
enjoyed so let's say this caption we have added now we'll click on post let's see so the progress bar is visible that means it is uploading let's see if success message comes or not so we have got the success message video uploaded and the activity is finished that means we are in main activity let's check it is uploaded correctly or not in the storage if you reload this page we have the videos folder let's see so we have the video uploaded in our storage you can see over here if you click over here you can directly see the video so it will be played let's go to the firestore database either it is uploaded here or not either it is updated here or not you have the videos collection you can see over here so video id is uh, you can see over here user id underscore the timestamp either you can use nanoseconds only but i have used timestamp dot now it, it will give the full timestamp so that's okay because it will be unique every time here we have the created time title uploader id is correct url is correct and we have the video id so in this way we have correctly uploaded the videos to our firebase storage as well as firebase firestore so my first video is uploaded so in this activity one last thing what we have to do is when i selected some video here we have to show the thumbnail means we have to show either video is selected or not here we have added the image view that you can see over here here we have the image view but it is not visible we have to make it visible and this cancel button is also not working let's fix that and let's add that image view as well so for that what we will do first binding dot cancel post button dot set on click listener we'll just finish the activity on cancel button and for that image view we will use the glide library you can use glide or picasso library i prefer glide library so let's add that go to this github repository here we can add the glide library you have to just copy this dependency go to the gradle script app level build at gradle here you can say glide and then implementation for kotlin we have to do this and it should be double inverted so in this way glide will be added let's click on sync now so this is added let's close this and let's use this here so whenever the user selects the video that means here in video launcher whenever user selects the video will show the post view so when we show the post view we will show that image view also here what we can do we can check for selected video uri if it has some value in let we will check we can move this line also inside if it is not null then only we will do we'll do glide dot width width we have to pass the view that is binding dot post thumbnail view dot load what we need to load this uri so it will be it dot into into the target is also binding dot post thumbnail view it will load the image from video uri to our image view so let's run it and test it add video let's select any one of the video let's say this one so here we can see the thumbnail correctly cancel select any other video let's say this so we have got the thumbnail that means it is working and post is also working we have to write the caption and post so in this video we have successfully uploaded our video to the firebase storage and then we have updated in the firebase firestore in next video we will show all the videos in this main activity so that when user comes to home it will show all the videos available here so that he can swipe and view other videos also if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully implemented the uploading feature so that we can click over here we can select the video we can write the caption we have the thumbnail view and we can post the video to our firebase storage and then to firebase firestore so in this video we will show all the video in this home page so that we can swipe the videos so let's get started so let's close everything let's go to main activity first in the view we will add a view pager we'll use view pager so view pager 2 width will be match parent height will be match parent so that it will occupy full orientation will be vertical and it will be above our bottom nav bar so it will show over here and let's give id to this view pager now let's go to main activity and set up the view pager so here in on create method i'll minimize this and what i will do is set up view pager i'll create a method set up view pager 
here here we have to do the same thing what we do for recycler view we have to create adapter we have to create the single item row and then we have to connect them so first thing i need is to add the dependency of firebase ui so let's go to the google and search for firebase ui dependency if you click on this first link you will get the dependency for firebase ui let's add for this cloud fire store and cloud storage let's get back to the project module here firebase ui let's say and do the same thing for cloud fire store as well as for cloud storage let's add for both now click on sync now now we have to create the view first let's go to layout new layout resource file this will be video item row and this will be a relative layout click on ok click on split now we will design this item row here we'll give the background for this as black so that it will be black background always and we will add a video view where we will show the video over here this screen will be video so video view width will be match parent height will be match parent center in parent will be true and we will give the id to this as a video view so this will be the video view it will take full screen let's add a image view also so that we can show pause or play so for that center in parent will be true we can give the source for this image view let's go to drawable new vector asset and let's add one icon it should be pause icon so let's take this icon let's make the size of this 48 by 48 and it will be white icon pause let's give the source and it will be only visible when we pause that's why visibility will be gone so for now we will add this much only we will add a video view and we will add a pause button let's create an adapter for this so i will create new package over here that will be adapter and inside that i will create new class let's say video list adapter so here what we will do first we will create a view holder we will create inner class video view holder and we will derive it from recycler view dot view holder here we will pass one binding let's pass it over here first binding it will be video item row binding so here we will pass binding dot root so we'll get the binding over here let's create a function bind video we'll give the video model and here we'll bind the video to our video view so binding dot let's create this as a private value so let's say bind video here binding dot video view dot apply we will do so that we can get the values of video view we have the video view what we can do is this dot set video path or we can directly call set video path as video model dot url second thing we will set on prepared listener so once it is prepared we have got the media player so it dot start media player will start and it dot looping will be true so that it will loop if it is finished it will again repeat true so we have set the video path we have set on prepared listener that means it will start the video now for play pause what we will do set on click listener will set on click listener to this video view if it's playing if video is playing that means we will make it pause and that icon binding dot we have not given the id to that icon let's go to here we have to give the id to this icon pause icon let's say now here binding dot pause icon dot visibility equals to visible else we have to resume it will be gone so in this way when video will be started if we click on it it will be either pause either resume so this will bind the video so our view holder class is done as of now here we have to do extend it from fire to recycler adapter uh, this will require two type the one will be video model type and another will be view holder that we have just created video view holder so we have to pass options so from where we'll get this options we'll get it from constructor so here what we will do options firebase store recycler option type will be video model this will pass from main activity so if you hover over here it will say to implement some members that is on create view holder on bind view holder if you click on it it will implement it it will be implemented here in on create view holder we have to assign the view we'll get binding first we'll get the binding from video item raw binding 
dot inflate layout inflator dot from parent dot context view group will be parent attached to root will be false and we'll return video view holder and we'll pass the binding so in this way on create view holder is ready it will give the video view holder that we have created in our class and we have the bind video so this bind video we have to call from on bind view holder so here so we have the model over here and we have the holder so holder dot bind video pass the model so that's it this will bind now we have to use this video list adapter in our main activity so here let's create variable for that adapter video list adapter now in setup view pager we have to pass the options in constructor we are getting the options so here we will pass the options so what will be the option let's create options variable this will be from firestore recycler options since we are getting the data from firestore we have the builder will build as video model so we will to set the query that means we have to get the data from database so what will be the query over here we will get it from we will get it from this videos collection so firebase dot firestore dot collection that is the videos collection and the type will be video model class dot java so in this way we will get the options and we'll build it that means we have the options that will get all the videos from firebase collection it will convert into video model and we will get the video model in this adapter so in this way the flow works let's initialize adapter video list adapter we have to pass options in constructor and binding dot view pager dot adapter will be this adapter for view pager we have passed this adapter in this way when we start the main activity it will get all the videos pass it to the video list adapter it will bind the video to this video view that is inside this video item row let's run it and test it either it works or not we have one video let's see so we didn't get the video because we have not added listeners so what we will do we'll go to main activity we have to add listener for this fire restore recycler options so for that we'll override one method that will be on start and on destroy so on start here we will do adapter start listening on stop adapter dot stop listening let's run it now so you can see it is black screen i think the video is loading so you can see the video it will be loading slowly if internet connection is slow but we have the video over here but we have the video so the video is looping also we have only one video that's why we can't swipe up so this is working if we add another video let's say so this one animals love water let's write this caption and click on post so it is video uploaded we are in the home screen the video load might take time if i swipe up now so you can see there is this second video so if i click on the video view it should pause it has paused so when we have implement pause play also if you click on this it will resume it is not resume let's see what code we have written let's go to our inner class so in inner class we have set it pause is resume it is not resume it should be start let's run it again so it is started if i click over here it will be paused if i click again it will be resumed so this is working pause and play is also working the audio is not working in emulator if you run it on real device the audio will come so in this way we have successfully displayed our video to the user in a swipeable format in the main activity so we can add the video we can have the video in the main activity now in next video what we will do we have to add the username user profile picture over here and the caption so that we'll get to know who has uploaded this video because right now we don't know who has uploaded this video so we'll add those item over here if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully displayed all the videos in a view pager so that we can swipe up and also we can pause and play the video so in this way we will add the user view where we will have profile picture and also the username and also the caption over here so let's get back to the project let's go to the layout that we have created video item row here what we will do 
we will minimize this and below this we will add a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content gravity will be center and parent bottom will be true let's give margin also 16 dp and inside this linear layout we will add items so first item will be image view let's say 48 dp 48 dp id will be profile icon and source for now will be let's say color black so let it be and after this we'll add a linear layout match parent wrap content and here we will add margin start will be 4 dp orientation will be vertical so that we can add two items over here one is text view match parent wrap content text will be username so let's add tools text for now that will be let's say username you can see over here let's say text color will be white id will be username username view text size will be 24 sp and give the text style as bold so we have this username view let's copy this and add the caption view below so it will be caption view decrease the text size 616 sp and tools text will be hey this is first video anything it can be it will be the caption let's give margin start at 8 dp 4 dp is enough we'll make this image view circle from runtime this is our video view as well as this caption and this view you can add progress bar as well because when video is loading we can show the progress bar over here so for that what we will do here i will add progress bar wrap content wrap content center in parent will be true it will be shown over here and id will be progress bar so this will be the progress bar let's go to video list adapter and in the inner class we have this bind video play pause first thing we will do is bind user data so how we'll get the user data if you see on video model we have this uploader id so from this uploader id we'll get the details of the user from user collection from here we have the id of the user from here we will get all the details so for that we will use first firebase dot firestore dot collection user collection that is users collection users collection dot document id will be video model dot uploader id dot get dot add on success listener so here we will get the user how we'll do that user model it dot to object user model class dot java so in this we will get the data from fire store we'll convert it to user model and if user model is there apply what we will do binding dot username view dot text is equal to username we have bind the user data we'll bind the profile over here because we have not implemented profile pick and here we will do binding dot caption view dot text is equal to video model dot video model dot title we are putting caption as title so in this way we will get the caption as well as the user let's do for progress bar so first what we will do when we come to this bind binding dot progress bar will be visible progress bar dot visibility it will be visible at first so when set on prepared listener is called first thing we will do is this will be gone so progress bar will be gone that's it whenever we load the video it will be visible whenever we have already loaded the video it will be gone and username we have bind we have bind caption view as well if you run now we have this username we have the caption and we have the image view over here later we will add the profile picture and progress bar is working if you load another video progress bar is visible so you can see over here we'll add profile picture we have the username and we have the caption so for profile picture what we will do uh, use glide dot width we will add it to binding dot profile icon dot load what we will load we will load the profile pic from this user model dot circle crop we will circle crop dot into we will add it to profile icon so it will get the url from the profile pic from user model and it will put into profile icon so if it is not there what we will do apply here request options we can use the placeholder that means if photo is not available we can use a drawable that is profile icon profile if photo is not there it will get this profile if photo is there then it will load the photo let's test it since no photo is there that's why it is empty if we upload photo then it will come so in this video we have successfully added the user details over here 
so in next video we'll create a profile screen if you click on profile we have to create one activity that will be a profile activity where we can add the profile picture as well as we can see all the videos we have uploaded and if somebody click on this user it will go to the profile view and we can follow and unfollow from there so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully added this username caption and user profile in all the videos so that we can see the user details over here in this video we are going to design our profile activity so that when we click on profile we can update the profile as well as when we click on this username we will go to the profile screen of that username so let's start and implement that so here first i will go to my package and let's create a new activity that will be our profile activity finish let's go to activity profile click on split let's design so in design what we will do first we will add a photo over here that will be circular below that we will add a username below that we will add a button that will be logout button as well as follow and unfollow button the same button we will utilize so let's start designing let's make a linear layout so that we can add every item in vertical vertical let's first add image view uh, let's give fixed height 120 dp margin top 16 dp and let's add a source so that we can have a circular image view resource drawable let's create a new vector asset let's say circle uh, we can use this account circle account circle click ok let's change it to 64 dp color let it be some grayish color and name will be icon account circle click on finish here we will give the source as account circle so it will come like this let's make a linear layout gravity as center horizontal so that it will be in center let's give id to it profile pick let's add one progress bar also so that we can show when it is loading we'll make it a small progress bar 16 dp id will be progress bar so it will be visible over here like this below this we'll add a text view we can minimize this as we go wrap content wrap content tools text let's add some username it will be like this text style will be bold and text size will be about 20 sp so username will be visible like this we have to give the id profile username let's minimize this also now let's add a button for logout as well as for follow on follow so wrap content wrap content margin will be 4 dp text will be let's not add text for now text size will be 14 sp let's add tools text for now that will be logout and id will be profile button whatever the button is we will say profile button so let's minimize this also so we have added image view progress bar username and logout button now we will add follower count following count as well as post count so let's add those so i will make linear layout wrap content wrap content margin will be about 10 dp and orientation will be horizontal so that we can add three item so inside this linear layout i will make another linear layout so that i can add two text view wrap content wrap content margin horizontal will give about 10 dp gravity will be center orientation will be vertical so inside this linear layout we will add two text view so text view wrap content wrap content text will be as for now let's say zero text size will be 24 sp and text style will be bold so we have this text over here let's give the id to it that will be our following count so it will be the following count below this we'll add the indicator text view so text view wrap content wrap content and text will be following so in this way it will show number of following and the following so this linear layout what we can do we can give weight as one layout weight one so that we can equally distribute let's copy this internal linear layout and paste it three times so we have one following in second we will say follower count and the text will be follower third we will say post count it will be posts so this all will be let's minimize this linear layout linear layout linear layout these three linear layout are inside this linear layout 
so we have image view progress bar text view and this button and linear layout below this we'll add one divider material divider we will use width will be match parent height will be 2dp so that the divider will come over here and below this we'll add videos that we will do later so here we will be adding videos for now let it be and now let's go to profile activity so in profile activity what we require if you go to the application we have this screen if you go to profile from here it should take us to my profile because this is my account I have logged in it should go to my profile but if you click on any username over here it should take to the profile of that username we will use the same screen but we will send the user ID from here we will send our current user ID from here we will send profile user ID so what we will do to go to profile activity we will be requiring user ID so from main activity what I will do whenever we click on menu profile that means we have to go to profile activity so here we have written the command go to profile activity we will remove this toast and we will create an intent so intent intent will be from this to our profile activity class dot java so we will go to profile activity but while going we will add some extra value so how we will add we will use put extra we will use the key of profile user id and we will pass the user id of the profile so from here we will pass current user id so how we will get that current user id so when we are logged in we can get the current user id from firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid so we can get from here so let's add null check also so we will get the user id from current user and whenever we click on profile it will go to profile of current user so here we will pass and we will just start activity intent in this way we will go to profile activity let's run and test either we are going to profile activity or not let's click on profile so we are in profile activity so from here we are passing the value so that we will get in the profile activity so let's close this main activity and work on profile activity first add the binding binding activity profile binding activity profile binding dot inflate layout inflator binding dot root so in this way we will get the binding let's get the user id also so let in it where profile user id that will be from that will be string and we will assign it from intent dot get string extra the key you can copy from main activity let's copy this key profile user id it will be same so in this way we will get the profile user id so we are sending it won't be null so let's add a not null now we will get the profile user id we can come from here also we can come from here also so how we will define this is my profile or this is other user profile so what we will do we will get current user id also so we will say let in it where current user id so here what we will do current user id equals to will get from firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid so from here we will get the current user id so if profile user id whatever we are passing and the logged in user id is same that means this is our profile it is not other profile it is our profile so what we will do if profile user id equals to equals to current user id that means current user profile else other user profile so in this way we can determine so first thing what we will do if current user id then we will do binding dot profile button dot text will set it to log out because because it is current user id we will show the log out button here if it is not us then we will show either follow or unfollow that we will add logic later so after this what we will do we will just get profile data from firebase so we will get the profile data from firebase with the profile id so whatever the profile id is there we will get the data so here i will create a method in this method we will do that so i will use firebase firestore dot collection users collection dot document document will be profile user id dot get if we get add on success listener so here when we will get the data that we will convert to user model so where i will store user model let's add a another let in it where that will be profile user model that will be of type user model and here what we'll do profile user model equals to it dot to object user model class dot java it will be not null so in this way we'll get the profile data now we will what we will do after getting the profile data we will set the ui so we'll set the ui according to the data so i will create a method fun set ui here what i will do 
I get the profile user model. So profile user model dot apply. So here what I will do. So I will fill up the UI. So let's fill up the UI. How we will do that? First we have to fill up the profile. So for that I will use glide dot with binding dot profile pick dot load that will be profile picture URL dot into binding dot profile pick. In this way we load from the user model profile pick to our this image view like we were doing over here. So here also we'll add the request option. So for that I will use apply function request option dot placeholder that will be draw r dot drawable dot icon account circle. So if picture is not loaded it will show this one. So this is for picture we will set username profile username dot text will be username and then binding dot progress bar dot visibility will be invisible progress bar should not be visible once we loaded for this username let's add concat at the rate also so that it will look good. Now following num binding dot following count dot text equals to following count we will say from following list dot size we have the following list dot to string same way we will do for follower count follower list dot size dot to string so we'll get the follower count and following count also we have post count so how we'll get the post count so for post count what we will do let's go to the firebase first so if you go to videos over here we have the collection of videos we have the collection of videos where we have the uploader ID. So from this uploader ID we can know how many posts are there. So from this uploader ID we will get to know. This uploader ID has two posts. So what we will do here. We will check firebase.firestore.collection the collection of videos. In the collection of videos we will check where equal to. So we have the function that is available on firebase that is where equal to. Where equal to the field is uploader ID. So we'll check on fill uploader ID. What we'll check? We'll check the profile user ID. So whatever the profile user ID that we'll check if that profile user ID has the uploader ID then we will show that video count. So we'll get dot add on success listener. So once we will get all the videos list we will just do one thing binding dot post count dot text equals to whatever the query snapshot we get dot size dot to string. So this will be the list. From this we will take the size and we will convert it to string. In this way we will get the post count over here whoever the profile we have opened. So let's run and test how it is looking. Now if we go to profile you can see over here we have this logout button username is captain profile picture is not there and we have two posts because because the captain user has uploaded these two posts. That's why it is visible. So if we click on logout it won't happen anything let's go and implement that. So profile button will be logout and here what we'll do binding dot profile button dot set on click listener. So whenever we will click on logout button what we'll do we'll create a method that will log us out. So logout here fun logout so firebase auth dot get instance dot we have the method sign out. So we'll just simply do sign out and when user logout will take to login screen. So for that what we will do we will create an intent intent this we will take it to login activity class dot java. So that whenever user click on logout it will take to login activity but when user click on back again it should not come to profile activity that means we have to clear the back stack. So for that what we will do intent dot flags we will use intent dot flag activity as new task because user should not able to click back new task or intent dot flag activity clear task open a new task and clear all the tasks start activity intent. So in this way whenever user click on logout it will take us to login screen and on click of back button we won't come back run app. Let's go to profile we have to post click on logout. So we are logged out if you click on back application close if you again open the application we are in login screen. So we are logged out. So in this video we have successfully designed our activity profile screen where we have image view text view and logout button and the following follower and post details. So we got the data from the user. In next video what we'll do if you click on that username we can go to the profile of other username and we can follow and unfollow that user. So if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.
What is going on guys welcome back to another video of Sorts application development series in Android Studio. In last video we have successfully created the profile screen where we can go to the profile. We have profile picture, username, logout button, following count, follower count and the post count. So we can click on logout and we will be logout. So in this video what we will do if we click on other user over here we will go to the same profile screen but we will have follow and unfollow button and also we will implement how to upload the profile picture. So let's get started. First we will do the profile picture thing how we will upload the profile picture. So let's go to profile activity. In the same way we are uploading the video and video upload activity we will do the same for profile picture as well. So what we will do so let's copy this launcher and paste it over here. Let's minimize this function for now. Here we will paste the launcher. It will be photo launcher. So we have the launcher. We will initialize this launcher in onCreate method launcher in onCreate method so it will be photo launcher register activity result code ok if result is there we will do something upload photo and whenever user click on this they should go to file manager and should pick the photo so in the same way we are doing for video but we should pick photo if only this profile is our profile that means if profile user id is equal to current user id that means current user profile we will pick the profile picture so here what we'll do binding dot profile dot set on click listener. So whenever user clicks we'll use check permission and pick photo. So this method will create over here check permission and pick photo. Same way we are doing for video over here check permission and open video picker. I'll copy the same thing from video picker and paste it over here. Here what we will do instead of this manifest permission dot read media video I will do read media images as well as go to manifest we have this video permission let's duplicate it and write here images so in this way we will get images permission same way we will ask we can refactor it as read external photo so it will be if permission is granted we will open photo picker so in this way we will open the photo picker let's copy the method also that is open video picker here we will paste it and instead of video we will use image and video launcher will be photo launcher the method will be open photo picker so this will do the same thing whenever we click on this profile icon it will ask for permission if permission is there it will pick the photo so let's run and test so I have this photo that is of captain I will copy this in the android emulator so if you go over here you can see this photo so I will upload this at a profile picture so let's run the application profile click over here it will ask permission click so we have all the photos you can click over here and we can select that but on selection we are not doing anything so let's get back photo permission and photo picking is working fine so whenever we get the photo over here we will upload the photo we have this method over here let's minimize this so we'll upload the photo. So for uploading we'll do the same thing. Let's go to video upload and here whenever we'll get the video we are first posting it to Firebase cloud storage and then we are posting it to Firebase Firestore. So I will do the same thing here also. So I'll copy this and let's create a method first here fun upload to Firestore. Here I will pass from here I will call this and I will pass result dot data dot data so if we get so here we will add photo URI URI import this so from here we can pass as not null so if result is okay we will get the photo so here what we will do we will create a photo reference that will be in let's go to storage so here we have the folder videos we'll create another folder that will be profile so it will be profile pic and instead of this we'll pass the user id so for every profile photo it will be unique user id of the user who is the user that is current user id so it will create a folder of profile pic it will get the user id of current user id and in that photo reference we'll put the file that will be photo uri and we'll post it to firestore now here we will get the url of the photo so whatever photo we are uploading we will get the url now we have to update it to firestore so i will create a function post to firestore download url download url will be url 
let's say string and here we will post it to firestore so how we will do that firebase dot firestore dot collection of users in that we will have the document of user id current user id in that we will update what we will update we will update profile pic with the url so we will update the profile pic field of the user model if you go to user model we have this field that is profile picture that is empty as of now so we will update this profile pic with the url that we get from this storage in this way we will assign the url to our profile picture so whenever we are success what we will do we will again load the view so the view will be loaded here what we will do first here in upload to fire store binding dot progress bar will be again visible and here we will set the ui with the new data so it will get the new data and set the ui let's run and test either it is working or not so let's go to profile let's click on since this is my profile we can click over here so if i click if i select photo you can see the progress bar that means it is uploading let's see progress bar is gone that means we have uploaded successfully let's go and check over here so we have the profile pic we have the user id with that photo over here let's go to fire store database if you go to users and here also we have the profile pic url but we have not got the profile picture over here let's see what is happening so once it is success we are calling set ui if you maximize this here we can see we are binding the profile picture in this profile picture from this profile user model this is the old user model since we have not get again user data this is the old user model so what we will do instead of set ui we will call get profile data from firebase so here we have the function it will get the latest data and then it will automatically set the ui so what we will do instead of set ui get profile data from firebase if you run this go to profile now you can see the profile but it is not circular so for glide we have the method in glide dot circle crop so if you reload again you can see the profile picture over here if you go back here also you can see the profile pic so we have successfully worked on profile picture and it is working fine let's now implement whenever the user click on this it should go to the profile and then we can follow and unfollow the user so for that i will create a new account so let's log out from here let's click on don't have account here i will create ironman at gmail.com password will be same let's create an account so here ironman account is created if i go to profile you can see over here user zero post zero follower zero following and profile picture is not there so we have the videos of captain that are uploaded by captain now if we click on this it should go to the captain user and show the user profile of the captain that we will implement in this video so let's get back here what we will do we will go to adapter video list adapter here we are binding the view so here so here we are binding the profile picture as well as we are binding the username we'll go to video item raw binding and let's give id to this items that is full row that will be user detail layout we can give the name user detail layout so that here so once we get the data here what we can do binding dot user detail layout dot set on click listener so from here we can go to profile activity let's go to main activity and copy these all three lines so that we can pass go over here it will be from binding dot user detail layout dot context and here from this context we'll start the activity so binding dot user details layout dot context will start the activity and it will be profile user id and it will take the user id of the profile not current user that means whoever the user is so here we can see we have username we have profile picture as well as we have id in user model we have all the values so if you go to user model you can see over here id so this is the user id so from here we'll pass the user id of the captain user means whoever the user is in this way whenever we click on this it should go to that activity so let's run and test now let's click over here 
we are in the activity we have the photo we have the username and we have the post there is no logout button because this is other user profile i am logged in as iron man here it should be follow or unfollow button and also if we click over here it won't work because we can't update the profile picture of other user so let's go and implement follow unfollow let's go to profile activity minimize this so here we are checking either it is current user profile or other user profile if it is other user profile we will set the button text as follow and on click of that button text profile button dot set on click listener will create a method that will be follow or unfollow user user so whenever we click on this button when it is other user profile and whenever we click on this it should either follow or unfollow so we'll create a method over here follow unfollow user so here first we will check either we are following or not so for that what we can do so to check the follow and unfollow let's go to users here we can see we have follower list we have following list if the other users follower list has the list of users so in this follower list it should be list of user ids if that contains my user id that means if if his follower contains my user id that means i am following if it doesn't contains that means i am not following so for that we need profile user model as well as current user model so we already have profile user model we will get current user model as well over here what we will do in the same way we are getting the profile user model if you see over here get profile data from firebase so we can copy this and paste over here we will go to the collection of user document will be current user id and here we will assign it to current user model so it will get the current user model from current user id to check whether i am following or not so once we get the current user model we will just check over here if profile user model dot follower list dot contains my user id if the profile user model follower list contains my user id that means i am following so what i will do profile user model dot follower list dot remove current user id means we will unfollow here unfollow user also from my user following list i will remove so current user model dot following list dot remove profile user id so from his user follower list i will remove my user id and from my following list i will remove his user id in this way we will unfollow and we will give the binding dot profile button dot text equals to it should be follow button else we have to follow the user it means we are not following then we have to follow the user so what we will do profile user model dot follower list dot add current user id in current user model dot following list dot add profile user id so it should add in his follower list and in our following list and binding dot profile button dot text will be on follow and once it is done we have to update it to the fire store as well so for that i will create another method update user data it will take model whoever the user model is so it will help us to update the user data so here what i will do whenever i do something I will call from here update user data that will be profile user model as well as I will update current user model. I will update both because I have changed the both follower list and following list. So here simply what we will do firebase dot fire store dot collection of users dot document document will be model dot id dot set model dot add on success listener. Now once it is done, once it is done, we'll again set the UI. For that we will do get profile data from firebase. So in this way, whenever we click on follow and follow user, we will update the user data. So let's run and test. If I go to captain user, we have the follow button since we have not followed. Let's follow. And you can see over here, it has increased the follower. If you go and check in the firebase users. So here in follower list, my ID has been added in my following list. His ID has been added. So in this way, follow and unfollow will work. If I click on unfollow, it will be unfollowed. If I click on follow, if I go back, again go to captain. We have already followed him, but here it is again saying follow. So this should not happen. So for that, what we will do, whenever we are getting the profile data from Firebase, we are setting the UI. So here also one more thing, what we will do after username, if profile user model dot follower list dot contains current user ID then we will set binding dot profile button dot text equals to if it already contains that it will be on follow now let's run and test again go to captain profile so we are already following that's why it is on follow if i go to my profile 
I have one following that means I am following captain and I have zero follower and zero post. So in this way updating profile picture as well as following and follower are working fine. In next video we will show all the post over here. If you go to captain profile here you can see two videos are there. So it will show all the videos over here in the recycler view. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye. What is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio. In last video we have successfully added the profile picture as well as follow unfollow button and from here we can follow or we can unfollow. So in this video we are going to display all the videos uploaded by the user over here in the recycler view. So this user has two posts and it should show two videos over here in a recycler view. So let's get started. Let's go to profile activity. Let's go to our views and below this horizontal divider we will add a recycler view. So recycler view width will be match parent height will be match parent ID will be recycler view. So here you can see recycler view is added. Let's close this. Now we require item row. So let's go to layout new layout resource file. You can name like profile a video item row and make it a relative layout. Click on OK. We're gonna split and here what we will do let's give some fixed height 200 dp and we will add an image view over here to show the thumbnail so image view width will be match parent height will be match parent padding will be 1 dp scale type will be fit xy so that we can fit it and id will be thumbnail image view let's say thumbnail image view and we will also adjust view bounds that will be true so that's it only we will show the thumbnail view Let's close this. Now let's create an adapter. So let's go to adapter, new Kotlin class. It will be profile video adapter. So in this adapter, first we'll create inner class like we were doing earlier. So inner class video view holder. It will take a binding that will be profile video item raw binding, and we will extend it from recycler view dot view holder. We will pass binding dot root. So we here we will add single function that will be bind and it will take the video video model here only thing we will do is glide dot width the view will be binding dot thumbnail image view dot dot load we will load video dot url dot into target will be binding dot thumbnail image view that's it we are only showing the thumbnail from the video url now let's we will take options as we were taking earlier so it will be fire store recycler options of video model and we will extend it from fire store recycler adapter video model and video view holder that will be from profile video adapter and we'll pass the options so we'll hover over here implement member two member we have to implement on create view holder and on bind view holder so let's minimize this inner class. So in on create view holder, let's take a binding profile item raw binding dot inflate layout inflator dot from parent dot context view group will be parent and attached to root false return video view holder binding. So in this way we will pass binding to our inner class. So we have done on create view holder on bind view holder. We have to do just holder dot bind and we'll send the model. That's it. So this adapter will take list of videos, create a binding and in this view it will show the thumbnail view with the glide library. That's it. Now in profile activity let's create adapter. So adapter it will be of type profile video adapter and let's set up recycler view. So in on create method at last we will do set up recycler view in on create method and then we will define this method over here at last you can define anywhere set up recycler view so here we will set up the recycler view so what we require for recycler view as we have done in main activity we require options so let's create options from fire store recycler options dot builder of type video model and we have set query method in set query what we will do we'll do the same thing what we were doing over here you can see firebase fire store dot collection videos were equal to uploader id profile user id so here we were getting the list and only showing the size let's copy these two lines and here we'll do dot order by we'll order by created time 
so that it will come on descending order so created time and query dot direction will be descending and for query we have to pass video model class dot java and then build so in this way we have set the query where it will take the collection of videos where uploader id is this profile user id and it will sort by created time now let's initialize adapter profile video adapter we have to pass options and for recycler view binding dot recycler view will set first layout manager that will be our grid layout manager because we are showing in grid so grid layout manager context and the span count that will be three we'll show three videos on one row so here recycler view binding dot recycler view dot adapter equals to adapter now we have to listen also so for that on start i will do adapter dot start listening and on stop adapter dot stop listening we have done the same thing in main activity same thing we are doing over here but we are showing in grid layout now let's run the application and see so let's go to the user profile here we have two posts and we can see all the videos this user has only two posts that's why we have two videos so it is correctly displaying three videos in a row if there is another video it will come over here so for my user if i go to my profile there won't be any videos so let's upload some videos for my user as well video one i'll upload another video so for my user i have uploaded five videos if you go over here so you can see the videos over here so video one video two video three now if i go to profile I have four posts and you can see all the posts over here. So it is working fine. If you go to captain user, you can see two videos. So that's all for this video. So in next video, what we will do if we click on this, it should play the video. Right now it is not playing because we have not implemented anything for on click. In next video, we will implement that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you on the next video. Bye bye. What is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully displayed all the videos of the user over here in a recycler view so this user has two posts that's why it is showing two posts if i go to my user you can see over here i have four videos and they are sorted with created time so in this video we will implement when we click on any video it should play that video in another activity so let's get started we'll close all this for now let's create a new activity go to package activity empty views activity let's give name single video player activity click on finish so in this single video activity so in this layout we'll just add a view pager nothing else so view pager to match parent match parent orientation will be vertical and id will be view pager that's it We'll do the same thing what we are doing on main activity, but here we'll play only that video that has been selected by the user. So let's go to profile video adapter. So here we will set the on click listener. So in function bind, what we will do? So whenever user click on thumbnail, so binding dot thumbnail image view dot set on click listener. So whenever user click on thumbnail view, we'll go to single video player activity. So intent intent will go from binding dot thumbnail view dot context. And we'll open single video player activity class dot Java for intent. Now for single video, we'll pass the video ID because we have lots of videos. Whenever user clicks on one video, so we'll determine that video with the video ID. So here what we will do intent dot put extra video ID and video ID will be from video dot video ID from this video model. We'll get the video ID and we'll start the activity from context dot start activity that will be intent so it will send the video id to single video player activity now let's go to single video player activity so in single video player activity let's initialize binding first activity single video player binding binding equals to dot inflate layout inflator and here binding dot root now we'll get the intent value so how we will get that let's create a variable video id it will be a string and here video id equals to intent dot get a string extra that will be video id 
so it will be not null because we are passing now from this video id we will set up the view pager so set up view pager fun set up view pager so here we will get the option in the same way so options fire store recycler options dot builder of type video model dot set query will set the query firebase dot fire store dot collection of videos from that collection where equal to here we will check the video id so whatever the video id is equals to the video id video model class dot java dot build so here we have to add parenthesis now we will get the options so in the same way what we will do we'll just set the adapter let's initialize adapter also here let in it where adapter we'll use the same video list adapter where we were binding the progress bar and all the videos so let's do that adapter video list adapter so here adapter equals to video list adapter we have to pass options we'll assign to view pager vid pager i have written vid pager it will be view pager so view pager dot adapter equals to adapter now we have to stop and start listening so on start adapter dot start listening in this particular method we will do on destroy adapter dot stop listening so whenever it is destroyed we will stop listening immediately not on on stop so that's it so what we have done is we have taken the video id from that single video id we have set up the query so that we can get the video from that videos collection so we'll get a single video that we are passing in adapter and from that adapter we are playing so here we have done start listening and stop listening on destroy let's run and test either it is working or not so if you go to my profile you can see the four videos i'll click on any videos so it is being played that means it is working fine so single video player is working we can pause and play if you click on back you will be back you can see over here it has been crashed let's go to locket let's clear the locket and check either anything is coming click on this video is being played let's click on back we are directly in main activity let's see we have the crash so here in recycler view we are having some problem so if you go to profile activity here we are doing adapter dot stop listening on stop that's why it is happening so when we go to another activity it will go to on stop state that's why it is happening so here what we will do we'll remove this and we'll do it on on destroy so adapter dot stop listening let's run it now Let's go to profile let's go to video now if i click on back i am on this activity that means crash is not happening so everything is working fine now if you go to the application my application icon is this let's change the launcher icon so how we'll do that go to app new image asset you can see this is the default launcher icon now you can select any other launcher icon from here you can select image desktop i have this logo click on open so in this way it will open the logo so you can adjust from here and you can set the background layer as color i will set it to white so that it will look like this next finish now if i again run the application this is my application launcher and it is looking good and also in this image if there is no image we are using person icon we will use the same icon what we were using over here this is the circular one so for that i will go to adapter video list adapter in this placeholder i will use icon account circle let's run it now if there is no icon it will show like this so in this way we have successfully created our shorts application with the minimal ui we have most of the features we can upload the videos we can play the videos we can follow on follow we can add the image view we can log out we can log in we can create an account so that's all for this video so all the episode wise code will be there in the github repository i will provide the link in the description you can check it out i have added episode wise code over here you can see all the episode branches over here you can click on that branch and you can go to that branch so if you have suggestion to improve this application we can do that also if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye